Well, a slate of collegiate soccer games took place today in the Upper Peninsula as it was United Soccer Day. We start with Purdue Northwest visiting the Northern Michigan women's soccer team in Marquette for a conference matchup. Now, during team introduction, the Wildcats walked out with young soccer players as part of United Soccer Day and a push to grow the game here in the Upper Peninsula. Now, the first half saw the Wildcats with many opportunities, but just couldn't find the back of the net. The pride of Purdue Northwest also had a fair share of chances, but this corner kick is headed off and off the mark, and it's nil-nil at the half. We go to the second half now, 48-minute corner kick, Stephanie Trujillo, a beautiful cross to Maria Storm. She's there with a header, lower 90, and the Cats are on the board, 1-0. Fast forward a few minutes later, the Wildcats again with a corner. This ball a little long, but put back into the middle. Ping-pongs around, finally Isabella Lorenz finds the net, and Wildcats extend their lead to, to nothing. Jump to the end of the game now, 87th minute coming up, and the Wildcats yet with another corner. This is Olivia Moreno, serves a beauty, and Allison Kroll has the header there, puts the Wildcats up three to nothing, and this one out of reach for the pride. Head coach for the Wildcats, John Sandoval, spoke on the defensive effort from his team today. Anytime you get a shutout, it's great. Uh, there, there's, we made some changes from Friday, uh, and we saw a lot of good things out of those changes. So hopefully we can carry that type of defensive mentality into, uh, into the weekend. Well, the Wildcats now hit the road for their next match, set for Friday, September 22nd against Ferris State, followed by a meeting with Saginaw Valley State Sunday. That game is slated for a noon kickoff. And also in women's soccer, Parkside traveled to Houghton today to take on Michigan Tech. Early in the first half, Parkside's Alexis Baker takes a free kick shot. That gets stopped by Husky goalie to keep the game tied at zero. Ball at midfield now for the Huskies and trying a fast break. Leads to a stop by Rangers goalie Maya Gutton. Toward the end of the first half, though, the Huskies get on the board. This shot from Saluji Lee, her fourth of the season, and the Huskies have a 1-0 lead. And that would be the score. The Huskies shut out the Rangers the rest of the game. Their final 1-0. The Huskies now head to Saginaw Valley State Friday. Game starts at 3 p.m. Shifting now to men's soccer. The Saginaw Valley State Cardinals took on the Northern Michigan Wildcats later in the afternoon today. Both teams playing physical, both teams playing fast, but the Cardinals take the first shot of the game. It's saved by Wildcat goalie Florian Polomowski, and the game stays nil-nil. How about some defense? Nico Scheibal here has the clean tackle. Enemy would take back possession. Wildcats on the attack now. Sian Tunney with the shot, but a little bit high, and nil-nil the score stays. Cardinals also play defense well. This, a corner for the Wildcats, deflected away. That's Cardinal Joshua Rubin there on the defensive effort. But finally, the Cardinals find the net 39th minute here. Yusura Vlasma finds Jonathan Money and he shoots into the back of the net. The Cardinals lead one to nothing. Now the Wildcats had an opportunity with less than a minute left, but Cian Tunney's shot is saved and the Cardinals take the win. 1-0 the final score. What a game indeed that was. Both teams playing well. And finally tonight, catching up on some college football scores. Not a good day for the Michigan State Spartans who fall against Washington 41-7. The Spartans now prepare to host the University of Maryland. The Terrapins, I know Kevin will be happy in watching that game, on September 23rd, game time set for 3.30 p.m. And the Michigan Wolverines pick up a win this weekend over the Bowling Green State Falcons 31-6. The Wolverines now prepare to host Rutgers September 23rd. That game gets going at noon.